Hello and welcome to Ryzen Tech. Today, we'll talk about how to choose the best AMD processor. If this is your first time watching my video, make sure you subscribe now and enable notifications. How to choose the best AMD processor. When it comes to finding the best AMD processor for your needs and budget, knowing what you need your processor to do is crucial. When it comes to upgrading, there is such a thing as buying too much processor, and getting the absolute fastest chip on the market isn't always the best way to go. If you only need to do general purpose computing, such as online shopping, streaming movies, and light productivity work, a Ryzen 3 or Ryzen 5 processor will suffice, and upgrading to a Ryzen 7 or a Ryzen 9 will barely improve your user experience while costing significantly more. If you are looking to do a lot of PC gaming and content creation, then you'll definitely want to go with the Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9, since a Ryzen 5 will barely cut it, and you can forget about anything more involved than Candy Crush on a Ryzen 3. Which AMD processor is best? That depends on your definition of best. If you're only interested in raw performance, the AMD Ryzen 9 5950X is currently the fastest overall consumer processor available, but it's not that much faster than the Ryzen 9 5900X and costs a bit more so it's not a great value proposition. What is the current fastest AMD processor? The fastest AMD CPU in the world is the 64-core-128 thread Ryzen Threadripper 3990X, but this is classified as a high-end desktop HEDT, processor. This means it's intended for professional content creation, such as real-time 3D rendering or film scoring with dozens of digital instruments at once. It's also exorbitantly priced, costing more than twice as much as a high-end gaming PC. The AMD Ryzen 9 7950X is the fastest consumer AMD processor on the market right now. How we test AMD processors It is impossible to distinguish between the best and worst processors simply by looking at them. Even if you peel back the packaging, the transistors on the CPU die, the neurons of the CPU's brain, are literally measured in nanometers. How can you tell the difference between a million and a billion transistors on a chip, and how can you measure a processor's clock cycle by looking at the box? Fortunately, we can run tests to see how well a processor performs in the real world, and the best way to do so is to push a processor to its limits by running finely calibrated benchmarking tools that produce comparable scores based on how well a processor performs a specific task, such as compressing a video file or performing the extremely complex math used in 3D gaming. We use industry standard tools such as Geekbench 5, Cinebench R23, and PC Mark 10 to synthetically push processors to their limits with realistic workloads that you're likely to encounter in daily use. We also use modern PC games on the best available gaming hardware with the lowest graphical settings to isolate CPU performance while gaming, which we measure in frames per second. Then, with the scores in hand, we examine the processor's price. The best processors provide either best-in-class performance regardless of price or compelling value for the customer, as it is equally important to get the best processor you can afford rather than just a top-scoring processor that is out of most people's budgets. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe to my channel and enable notifications now.